Lee, it just seems kind of bad to me. As in, bad as in not good enough, you know? Not bad as in... People are really not scared of Karn. We have Verdict, but this kind of opener is like... Turn on Overseer is going to kill me before turn 4. If they have anything reasonable to back it up. Or is this Reno's Blast with my Planeswalkers? I don't know a new plan. I think that when you untap with a Planeswalker in blue white control, you're in extremely good shape. Seems kind of win more. Alright, they have like kind of hybrid damage, I guess, so... But the next is going to be a problem. Let me drop half to exile. Or field of rune. Yeah, Mystic Gate will help with the charm. For sure. Yeah, I basically have one draw step to draw path for uh, path for field of runes. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, eleven. I'm trying to figure out if playing Snapcaster Mage makes any sense, but no, it doesn't. It does nothing for me. All right, can I win? I don't have set all wreckage in my deck. Is there a combination of cards I can draw? Oh, cryptic commands. They just spoiled a new a new sword. Sword of Sinew and Steel. Black and red. Whenever a equipped creature deals common damage to a player, destroy up to one target player worker and up to one target artifact. Seems pretty bad. I think I'm just dead on board, right? So I potentially want all these cards. I need to purge too. Um, uh, Spell Pierce might be good. The Fairy Time Raveler seems awful. Our set seems a bit slow. Maybe do that. Seems pretty solid. I can do Dobbin's Veto too. I don't know, but I want to try Spell Pierce in the matchup, see if it's any good. Encounter a Mox on turn one, you know, maybe you screw them. Doesn't seem like a bad idea to keep all, to keep in all your cheap cards against Affinity, you know. You know. Oh, it's over. The fun never stops. Oh, I thought that spell Pierce. Yeah, I've I've I'm. Honestly, I'm losing respect for people who think Modern Horizon is, like, disappointing or the cards are not good or stuff. I think Modern Horizon's just so great. Hola! Hola todos! Que pasa? <laughs> That's my Spanish. Gracias para el raid. 
Javier. Did you win against Hifro, by the way? We watched a bit, but we didn't. We, we watched you wreck him with Massacre Girl. I'm gonna bottom colonnades. Ooh, fiddle flip. Seems pretty bad though. Should I up main phase to see if I draw a path? I don't want to path anything, anyways. I was just a play tap Hallowed Fountain. You for it too strong? Ah, sorry. Caramba. What do you think about Modern Horizon so far, uh, Javier? Do you like it? Are you disappointed? Are you excited? Are you kind of meh? I'm slightly mad, but the reason is I expected them to print cards that felt more quote unquote new, like Urza. Hmm. The mythics are kind of new, no? Like Azorius Charm, but that's not a mythic. Like Ren and Six, super, I think the mythic are like all super strong. And then the non mythics are kind of like, we'll have to see. I don't know. If, I feel like it's exactly what I expected, and I think the set is going to be kind of great and super fun for modern. Because it's like you know, not obvious like that all the cards are busted and they're like really strong, but not. I don't know. I, I like it a lot. All right, then I'm gonna go click here. Click myself, sorry, it really is lost. All right, I got there. Javier, you're one of the best players in the world, okay? So please enlighten I, I have one question for you. Is casting Supreme Verdict right now good or not? Is, is that a good turn for me? I honestly don't know. It looks pretty good, but I could use a second opinion. <laughs> Javier is like, please leave me alone. It's close, but I would say it's a decent play. Nice. It is close though. That's why I asked. That's why I need a second opinion. What's up, Amazonian? I'm I'm drinking some red wine too. I heard you were drinking earlier. I want to start a drinking game where you have to drink whenever Paul Chion says however, but then he completely let us down. Alright, I want to change how I sideboard on the draw. Now these cards are pretty slow and expensive. Oh, card games. I was confused. I was like, I'm good at cards games? Well, you really are drunk. Are you still drunk? Jesus Christ. Oh, you're still very drunk. Okay, yeah. Let's play a game in chat. You have to spell fibbles up without thinking, without copy pasting. Ah. We've got an eye for Lintissa. That pretty good. Pre looks pretty good to me. Yeah, if you spell it wrong, you get banned forever. At your own risk. Ooh, I like that. Citadel drum, we drew our one stony silence. Oh. If they don't have a, a Thoughtseize or a Spell Pierce, this is gonna be pretty gross. I guess they could beat a stony somehow. <laughs> totally lost. I think Javier wins. Wow. All right, Javier. I need your expertise again. Is this is this a good spot to play Sterny Silence? Or should I keep Celestial Purge up in case they have something really good? I need I need the help from chat. I'm glad we have the world champ. 
All right, I, I guess I'll play Stony Silence. I'll stop slow rolling my opponent. I feel bad. I actually should wait to see what I need. That's kind of loose. Whatever. They need some kind of disenchant. Do, 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 do. That's pretty good, actually. <laughs> One minute counter spell. I'm not even going to risk it. I'm not even going to play Jace. I can't lose as long as I keep spell pierce up. This blue white deck looks great. Yeah, it's. A blue white is great. He said, GG's, what's up with Fibbletip? Wow, opponent completely lost the game, by the way. Look at that. That wasn't even close. Fly pull fip? What the hell? He did say however you spell it. He did he did acknowledge that he was spelling it wrong. <laughs> Yeah, we saw that the new sword. The swords look pretty bad. All the other mythic look kind of busted, except for maybe Urza. That's kind of like not obvious if it's good or not, but. I mean, that's like two artifact decks we play against today. I guess these Karn decks might not be very popular on Magic Online if People are still playing artifact decks. Sure hope my opponent is playing, I don't even know, some kind of combo deck. Some kind of non-creature deck. This is the life of a blue-white player. I could actually probably Google it. Oh, that's a Frenchie, I think. That's the Frenchie who... I forget his name. Thomas, oh, it's Thomas Michon, yeah. Salut. Salut, Thomas. Mm. Yeah. To mine, this is his last name, or very close. Oh, look at Javier. He knows the Frenchies better than I do. Trying to embarrass me. Alan Go. Probably Phoenix, right? This hand's really good against Phoenix. Narset is the nuts against Phoenix. Could be the mirror match. Could be some kind of mono blue deck, as foretold maybe. Oh, mirror match, yikes. Wow, that's a tough spot. Mm. I think I'm just gonna jam since I don't have more lands. I don't love it though. Now they get to play their planeswalker and I lose. X. That was a good draw. The fairy is the nuts. Opt is the nuts with Snapcast from Mage Doe. Oh. I'm gonna stick to Fairy. Opt against Narset? Yeah, I cast it on their turn. It works. No, it's the same, right? It doesn't matter. I just cast it on their turn. I, mean, I think the Fairy's just too gross not to take. That was a sick draw. <clears throat> so we know they have to ferry five in hand. 
Oh, we know they have Dovin's Veto in hand as well. So I think I say go. I say go and I play Cryptic Command and up their turn. Oh. Wow, it's so sick. If I counter draw, I don't draw. I can counter bounce my Narset. That's pretty decent. Counter target spell. Plus it's gonna hook them. But they gotta be suspicious. Cause they know I know they have to ferry. Wow, playing around spell pierce. Genius. This is another tricky spot. I should have kept up. I would have won this game if I had kept up. I got so greedy. Up would be so good right now. I guess I have to jam. It's kind of bad if they have cryptic command. I guess the is not that good if I have Narset in play. All right, I'm fine with that. I might just Surgical Veto and then Snapcaster Surgical just to see their hand, just to play a Snapcaster. But they probably have one of each. No, that's too bad. Wow, Wall of Omen's really bad against Narset. It kind of worked out. You get to see their hand. Teferi, Teferi, Snap, Narset, Cryptic. God, their hand is insane. Insane. Blast zone, one detention sphere, two Jace, two Teferi, one baby Teferi, two baby, two logic knot. They only have, oh no, they have two verdicts and a wrap. I was gonna say they only have one sweeper in their deck. Two us, four path, four colonnades, okay. Two Teferi, a snap, and our set of cryptic. I already forgot what they had in hand. Narset, two Teferi, and a Cryptic. Okay. Was that loose? I got kind of greedy with Snapcast, not playing Snapcaster, I guess. If they don't draw land, I think I'm in pretty good shape. I'd have land and logic knots. Brutal. Yeah, I lost the game when I took the ferry over opt. That 100% cost me the game. I mean, the game, this game's not over, but. Snap's definitely feeling pretty bad. I should have let the trigger resolve. How did that work out? Actually. I should have gone for Snapcaster. 
Oh, they have another one in hand. Logic Knot, Teferi, Jace, Verdict. Logic Knot, Teferi, Jace, Verdict. Oh, let's get rid of Teferi. Why not instant rest? I've got the con counter with Teferi. Oh, well, you're right. Wow, I comp completely missed that. They have Teferi 5 in hand. I don't think I can win. They have to ferry five in hand. I think the ferry time raveler in play makes kind of everything easier though. I could bounce my own snapcaster, but I have nothing good in the graveyard. Very minus on Jace is kind of bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I messed up again. I don't know what I'm doing. I should have played my wall first if I draw land and... Seems kind of poor. It's not, it's not that bad though. I think it's okay. Remember three years ago when every card in the mirror was bad instead of every card being on Beatle? Yeah, no kidding. I mean, if you don't have a removal, side, a removal spell for Snapcaster somehow, I might be in business. That's not too bad for me. Targeting logic not. <laughs> Remember when this deck was awful, but we played it anyways. Yeah, dude, I can't. I can't believe I like played that deck at a PT when Field of Rune and Jason Mind Sculpture weren't legal and I was just playing with Tectonic Edge and Jace Architect up top and I, I did well too. Ah, uh, Wall of Omens, I lose now. Best card. Freaking best card. Do -do 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 they probably just have another Jason hand, right? I don't even remember. I kind of want a plus to fairy. Do we have a little to fairy on top? A wall into small to fairy. Well, that field of rooms, they could break that, but I'm kind of lost here. I guess if they. Field of Rune in response, I can like float a mana and play a wall for free, kind of. Honestly, not sure uh, if I was supposed to plus or minus. Kadar Brock says Death Plus. I think that I think Jace is the only reason Blue White is currently playable. How wrong am I? Um, I would have said, you no. Know, Jace makes Blue White Tier One, 
But honestly, now that you have Narset and Small Teferi, I think you could. I mean, you'd rather play Jace than not, but I think you'd be just fine without Jace as well. Jace is not the best planeswalker in the deck. Well, Jace is definitely better than Teferi. Well, I think it's better than Teferi. Unclear if it's, you know, better than other things. Unclear if, you know, Narset, etc. are better now. Alright, I need to play a bit faster. Three minutes behind. This game's kind of weird. I think I might just deck them. Um, I was able to surgical a couple of key cards, so they're kind of like... They're drawing a lot of cards, but they're drawing a lot of air too. I wouldn't hate finding a little field of runes. Damn you. All right, that's fine. I don't know if that plays good or not. Seems fine. Seems fine to me. I'm not sure if going down to it is smart either, but seems fine. Do I have enough mana to activate both Colonnade? It's kind of scary. Plasm. I think I'm just going to take it. Five cards in hand. It's kind of ambitious to take it. Did they play a land already? They haven't. Oh no, they played last zone. Do they have the Tension Sphere in hand? Yeah, I'm going to take it. I'd rather protect my Teferi. Plus now, if I protect Baby to Fairy, it may as well. I guess I'll see what they attack. Baby to Fairy. Baby to Fairy is really good right now. Finally. Finally, he's back. Guess who's back? Back again. Shady's back. Tell a friend. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Dude, how good is Baby Teferi? I have Baby Teferi was one counter on it, and Big Teferi was five counters on it, and he has to D sphere. He has to D sphere like Baby Teferi. It doesn't even make any sense, does it? I can just minus the tension sphere, but he draws it right away, but then I counter it. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. All right, I'll minus. If it's good enough for him to, to take it, it was, uh, I'll just minus. I'm at eight.
Oh yeah, and I get to shuffle the tension sphere away. I didn't even think about that part. I wonder how many mistakes I made this game. Although the first one was not keeping the up. In hindsight, that was probably my biggest mistake. I don't know how big of a mistake it actually was, but... I think besides that, I played the game pretty reasonably. Just so many small, de so many decisions though. Just kidding, no more basics. I have eight basics and he has eight basics as well. All right, the problem is we're losing on, we're, we're getting clocked here. The only metric that really matters. Yeah, uh, I think I'm just gonna deck them, right? Already planning on winning this game. Teferi minus on itself. No, they don't have a Teferi left. I don't believe they can still win this game. But I could be wrong. Most useless cards. Should have kept a fetch line in hand and just discard that. Loose. They're going for the plus strat. U plus. I plus. Did I forget to use all my planeswalker? I think I did. They're in turbo mode. Oh no, they're not. This is sick. <laughs> Wait, did I not plus the fairy? Damn it, I forgot to plus the fairy first. I'm an idiot. Well, whatever. I should just F6. Well, F6 war. Should probably keep plusing the other planeswalker. It's crazy how spell appears is like the best card in the matchup and somehow I, I didn't get to use it. We're doing second main phase J's, really? That's what they're. That's what we're going with here. Come on, bro. It's a bit try hard. Oh. 
I'm disappointed that he's like playing the clock. Maybe he's not. I'm really good at the clock game too. Like, I, I literally think I'd be willing to bet I'm a favorite to time him out if it goes down to time. I'm like really slow, but I'm also really good at like timing people out when it's close like that. I think surgical gets a bit worse after sideboard. Cut the walls. The wall's pretty bad against Marset, but it's pretty good at protecting your planeswalker. Problem is I'm not gonna want to tap out for wall anyways. It's also good with Restoration Angel. I almost feel like Cryptic Commands a bit mediocre. Maybe I just cut Jace and Cryptic in the mirror match. Lol. But I keep in wall and Fiddle Flip. Path's pretty bad too. But you want some. I could cut a bunch of Path to Exiles. Can I path my own Fiddle Flip or does it die? Becomes target of a spell. I'll do only one surgical. Hey Dreadbore. I think Arc Mage Charm's gonna be clunky in blue white, yeah. I think if you can't cast it on curve, it loses a lot of its uh Opt is one of the best cards you can have in your opening hand, because it enables your snapcaster mage. If you have a knot and a snapcast from age in your opening hand, you're like golden. Sometimes I'll just fetch for Hollowed Fountain there, but I feel like the damage kind of matters in the mirror more than it used to, or more than, I don't know, it, it, it kind of does matter a bit. Are they, they're really playing all their spells second main? This is so weird. I wonder if it's just a habit he has, or... He's doing that to like screw me. Honestly, I don't know. Decided to greet a bit. And not keep basic island. And I'm gonna get punished for it. Thought I would have time to up there, but. Oof. The fairy's better against Jace. The fairy's better against Jace. The fairy nurse. I don't know, man. I need to hit my land. If only I'd kept that land, this game would be easy. Drawing spells doesn't even do that much for me. Oh no, man. <laughs> We're just playing at sorcerer speed. Assuming creature has got to be good. Especially when doesn't click. City of Solitude.
So there's a lot of value, but maybe just click is a better play. Oh no, that's kind of confusing. But I have to ferry in play. Yeah. That's where you give the oops emote. If it was arena, it would be a little oops. Oh, it's sick. I even get to flashback serum vision at instant speed. Wow. That is that is pretty sweet. Blue white, lol. Resto Angel. How good is Resto Angel? Alright, that good. Gotta take the resto. Probably doesn't matter what I do at this point. They probably have a billion of dead cards in hand. They don't have that many dead cards, actually. So whatever they do, they have to main phase. If I give them an extra land, they can still only play one card a turn. I mean, it doesn't matter. Whatever. Can have it all. Maybe they kept in Verdict in their deck. Supreme Verdict's the only card I'm worried of. <laughs> Wait, they're not even casting spells now? Well, that is confusing. Maybe they're just trying to time me out. Good luck. All right, GG's. He gave me the GG. That was a pretty cool match. Mostly because I won. <laughs> I'm just such a hypocrite. Pretty good match. Well, sometimes I see that when I lose too. I don't know, game one was pretty interesting. This game, this game was also pretty interesting. Is Monastery Mentor good in blue-white? No idea, I've never played that card in blue-white. Maybe once or twice. Any more spoilers today or just... Uh... I'm kind of surprised they only spoiled one card during the MPL show. It's their big weekly show and only one spoiler. I was kind of surprised. Modern Horizon is insane value, I don't know. You've got the, the, the freaking like Horizon Canopy at regular rare. What's up with Affinity? I don't understand. I feel like Karn should like make these decks close to unplayable, but I guess not. Verdict is nice. This time we're actually going to have time to cast Verdict. They're not going to kill us on their third turn, hopefully. Not even have the set has been spoiled. Yeah, but I think they tend to start pretty strong, I feel. I, I think they, most of the good stuff gets spoiled right away, right? I think the two mana walker has potential. Yeah, I mean, you just have to find a. Ho it does it all, honestly. It's such a versatile card. I can't even imagine like a deck that doesn't want this effect. Man, Frenzy's so freaking good. I hate that card. <sighs> 
Was I supposed to Teferi Springleaf Drum just so they couldn't cast? Like, Verdict doesn't even do anything. How do I get rid of Frenzy for good? Ah, whatever. Whatever. Yeah, Moto Space, that Frenzy too. All right, we need them to have like not too insane of a turn, but I don't know how that happens. They have like no lands in their deck. All right, that's not too bad. Shock. <laughs> Try to keep it straight face. It does bounce frenzy, and then I have to spend a turn recasting it. To be fair, I play. I'm playing it over Wall of Omens, so Wall of Omens wouldn't be much better. Land. Pog. That's maybe a bit better than land. Wait, why did they play a land before playing their Frenzy? I mean, in Mono Red, you play your land first, but you play your land first and... Yeah, it's, it is a good land. So Water of Lomans was the best card in Modern? That was before they printed Narset into Fairy. Now you need a, now you need the one power to be able to attack opposing Narsets into Fairy. So Fibblethub is now the best card in Modern. The king is dead. Long live the king. Hey, they'll just move all in. They'll have the read. They'll stare, stare into my soul and decide I don't have it. I'm gonna try and trick them. I'm gonna F6, like I don't have anything. Damn, they're too smart. I kind of messed up actually by F6. Eh, were they supposed to cast path? I don't know. I don't know, man. Probably should have path to Ravager end of turn. Doesn't matter. How good is Colony Woods mono blue list? I heard it's really bad. I wanted to try it and I was like, should I try it, chat? And everyone in chat was like, it's fun, but it's really bad. So I decided to like, you know, save myself the trouble. I'm not gonna lie, I've been probably uh, playing fairly loose here. I haven't exactly been paying attention to what's going on. But I'm assuming pathing their dudes is not the worst thing in the world. Plus they're tapped out so I can like snapcast or path ravager on my turn. I need to be wary of like, I could just say go actually. How much am I gonna take? One, two, three, four, five, six. I need to be a bit careful about plating. Let's try to win this game. I like winning. <laughs> Why fibble tip over wall of omens? One is a 1-1, one, one, one is an 0-4. Oh, That's pretty straightforward. But a short answer is I wanted to attack, uh, I wanted to be able to attack Planeswalkers. So I'm playing the split. Because you don't want to play two legendary, you know. What if I draw both? I'm not well versed in uh, 
pop culture mark. I don't get your reference. I'm sorry. I'm just just a card player. Nothing fancy here. I'm gonna attack. They have to be scared of like a sweeper. They can't reactivate. Um, so they've played one galvanic blast. So ideally, I'd like I'd like to stay above nine. Nine or above. So I'm gonna take the hit. Hmm. Do I have life gain? I have a logic knot, so I'm not too scared of double galvanic blast. I'm gonna take it. Signal pests. Sure. So that's three, four, five damage next turn. It's not great. Who said four snapcasts for mage was too many? Show yourself. Was it you, Lanthesa? Wow. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for a formal apology. Spellpiers have been pretty bad so far, even in the mirror. I got to read like an open book. Maybe I'm playing them poorly. Maybe I'm the problem. All right, I'm at six. Already established that we would like to stay out of Galvanic Blast range if possible, but I don't know if it's actually possible. I have a Colonnade in play, that's a pretty good card. The dust stuff. Alright, I guess we're going down uh going down below the threshold here. C'est la vie. I just need to play careful. I like how I was like, oh, I should try to stay above nine and now I'm just at like D minus. One, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four. Who do we have? Detali84. Thank you so much for the Twitch frame sub. Welcome to the sewer. Hope you enjoy your stay. Uh, we need to dodge the Galvanic Blast for one turn and I think we win. That's why I said I got lucky with that path. That was really lucky. I'm sure I played, I don't know, I don't, I can't pinpoint like one mistake I made, but feel like the glass of red wine. I'm like super lightweight now, like one glass of red wine is... I guess it depends on the red wine too. But yeah, that was lucky, because what was that, path number four? Path number three? All right, now I'm assuming we're... We have a locked up. I just need to find... Snapcaster is good.
Matt Carface, salut, j'ai joué ton Sulta Explore de Fandom aujourd'hui à ma LGA, c'est gagné première place, c'est gagné, on a le Playmat de Nina et Guillaume. Ah, génial, bravo. Bravo, bravo. Et... Uh, Man, Narset was pretty good this game. How did I side roll last time? Like that. Furry kind of bail me out a bit too. Ooh, all the raids, all the MPL pros. What's up, uh, J. Rolf? I'm gonna ask you what I ask every every MPL pro. What's your record in the MPL league this season? How's the Jess Skywalker treating you? Timely is pretty bad against Affinity, I think. The question is, do I want Jace, you know? Do I want these four mana cards? Do I want Jace and Teferi? Do I want the smaller ones? I'm gonna do that to keep my deck fairly cheap. I don't know, maybe Narset is good. I'm playing the 1-1 one -one because I want to be able to attack other people's Teferi and Narset, but that's probably super narrow corner case of the mirror match. Yeah, it's basically better in the mirror and probably worse in almost every other matchup. Easy mulligan. Pretty mediocre hands. They have so few ground creature. I should just bottom and try and hit a white so I can cast my ass on turn one or two. If I keep fill up the on top, uh, I just have one less shot at a white man on turn one or two. New swords and mocks in Modern Horizon. I think these cards are probably pretty bad for Modern. I think the mocks could be good in As Foretold, Restore Balance deck maybe. It can be, you know, kind of like fits, fits, checks a lot of boxes, I guess. But the swords, they don't seem, I mean, the old swords are, they're all like modern legal, right? And no one plays them. And I feel like these ones are. Oh, I muted, I muted myself. I misclicked. Doesn't happen very often. What's my favorite guy spoiled in Modern Horizon? Uh, probably... It's not the best card, but it's... Where is it? It's the Bull Lightning, actually. I don't know, for some reason... I don't know, Bloodbraid Elf into Lightning Skelly Mantle sounds pretty sweet to me. Pact of Negation, Narc Mid Charm. I think Pact of Negation would be played in blue white or like. What's it called? Force of negation, right? And then the charm, I'm not too sure. Add Carlos. Sacrifice Quadrant Mine. Destroy target non basic land. Its controller creates a colorless treasure artifact token with sacrifice add one. So they get a lotus petal. That's pretty sweet. Seems balanced, right? Squandering mine plus the new card equals wasteland. Yeah, it's fake. Pretty good fake. Must be the Chinese. They got me. They got me. My money. Everything. Hey Nate. Yeah, I'm up a bit late. I need to. We have our modern Super League match on Tuesday, so I guess I need to stay up a bit later right now. Wait, where are you?
Where did Owl come from? Oh, looks like we're dead. Should I even ask anything? Does Ask accomplish anything? I feel like it probably doesn't, but you never know. I don't know. I'll ask the Ravager. This is too complicated. How bad can it be? If I get to live, I think I'll be okay. Second plating. I think the new triple blue charm is good if you can cast it on turn three consistently, and it probably gets much worse if you can. I got a haircut like a week ago. Am I not dead if I cast Verdict? I'm literally dead on board, right? One, two. They have four artifacts in play. They can attack for like 10 poison counters. Word Dob. We know Word Dob, but Open and doesn't. Four Sahili free coin. Seven one in the mox, five two in the prelim, or five two in arena, it's pretty solid. Happy was my choice overall. Well I'd I'd hope so. Seven one in the mox, five two in the MCQ, deck was awful. Alright. Would any of these cards would have made a difference? Not really. I mean, maybe Cryptic Command. I think Jace is better than Cryptic Command. How I know do I get answering the same question at nauseum? It depends. I feel like it's more annoying for people who watch, you know, who've been watching since the beginning and they hear me say the same thing like 10 times. Plus, at some point, it turns into memes, so I guess we make we make fun of it. And then I start making fun of people. The poor Saul who asked the question for the 10th time, but who just came up, and he just gets dunked on by me. And he's like, wow, that streamer's real dick. Like, first time, first time, first time watcher asking a question, I uh, just... I just make fun of them and they're like, wow, well, I guess I'm never watching that stream again. <laughs> huh, you know, you got to sacrifice a newcomer once in a while for the greater good. For the amusement of all. I go from zero to a hundred real quick. It's actually kind of same in real life. It's not a quality too. You know, it's like, I like take it for like, I take the beats and the question and all of a sudden I like, yeah, it's not great. Right, I have the anti sterny sounds drop. GG. Have the anti Ornithopter Signa Pastrano. Yeah, I do have commands for a bunch of questions. We do that. We we've been pretty lazy tonight. If any player was less time banged than me, Finny is kind of hard actually. Playing against control is harder than playing control. 
I already did have the anti sony silence draw. Am I just dead on board? Somehow. Let's turn free kill for stony silence. Oh, wall of omens. You are a delight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yikes! Galvanic blast, galvanic blast frame. It's gonna be pretty hard for them to galvanic blast me for four this game, but. I'm just thinking if. If they have Mountain Galvanic Blast, I'm dead. But if they had Mountain Galvanic Blast, they, would, well, they don't have Mountain, they would have played. Holy Day. Holy Day against Infect. Sick technology. Is Holy Day a modern league? Why we need triple white over triple blue? I don't know. I boarded out Cryptic Command. I was thinking maybe there's a spot where I want to cast Verdict plus Path to Exile. Oh, they only have two cards in hand? I didn't realize that's so oh, three cards in hand. What does show say in these spots? Hold me chat, I think is what he says. Hold me chat, I'm scared. Alright, so I still worried about exactly Mountain plus Galvanic Blast. Oh, Carl Life still shows Color Life Algrazi. That's because I'm a bad streamer. Alright, so the question is do I try to opt into a spell pierce or counter spell first to play around Galvanic Blast plus Mountain? Alright, well, I should opt first, I think. At any rate, well, I guess now I just lose if they have Mountain Galvanic Blast. Can't play around that anymore. So, what's my best course of action? Just Resto, I guess. They don't have metal craft, but they have. Um, they can animate free nexus. They can activate all their nexus and just galvanic blast my face. All right, I actually don't want to give the mountain. So I'm kind of the same deal every turn right now. I guess I'll just play to fairy and hope for the best. Hope I dodge it. I think if I can dodge it one more turn, I'm in the clear, I should be able to find some kind of counter spell. Between Snapcaster, Opt, and Tif Also, I might get to a point where I can just like, path and field of runes all their land so they don't have metal draft. Yeah, I can destroy one artifact land, but not have Overseer in place. Do they ever board out blast in this matchup? I mean, it's possible they board out blast, you know? It's blast is like, you know, the card, it's kind of awkward sometimes, but sometimes it's the best card you can draw, so. Uh, I honestly don't. Depends how much you have. The, the thing is, they probably don't have that many cards to bring in. Maybe a third frenzy, maybe a neath or grid or two. It kills Colonnade too, which is kind of relevant. People started playing Restoration Angel. Alright. Alright, I need a. I need a quick. 
quick technical break. I'm gonna play a few ads and I'll be back in a uh, like, couple minutes. And I'll update the deck list. Oh. I guess I'll update the deck list now. I think, I think I got it right. I think this should be the correct list. All right, I'll be right back. Watch this deck lose a bunch on the SCG stream today. Yeah, I lost twice in future match, right? At least that I know of. I mean, I wasn't watching the whole time. But it's because people play bad lists. No, the lists look pretty, the both lists I saw look pretty reasonable. Blue Red is a good deck, but matches, matches are close usually. Definitely go either way. Describe yourself in free magic cards. I hate these things, mostly because I can never come up with anything clever. <laughs> it's pretty good. And Popa, I'm glad you asked. No one had asked yet. Uh, Fibble Tip is because I want to be able to attack Planeswalkers, but also for for the memes. What are we playing against? Could be Ponza. Could be like Green Devo. Hmm. I'll let them know. I'll let them know. I have nothing. Should have played on tap land actually to rep counter and also maybe they just attack into my snapcast for mage, you never know. Okay, so it looks like they're playing GG. Where is my spell pierce? Trinosphere. Why do they play Trinosphere now? I got greedy. I thought they would just play that if they had it. I figured they didn't have Blood Moon. But I guess that was... Probably win this game if I just keep mana up. Oh well. Maybe I'll get lucky. Seems unlikely. I did I went over to the arena MCQ. I played straight mono white. Did not go. No clue if that's right, by the way. Let's figure I'd uh, do something with my Snapcaster Mage. All right, I'm gonna concede. I don't know if I, I lose 100% of the time, but close. Alright, 
can avoid that. It's, these cards, they're hard to cast on their Blood Moon. And Cryptic Command is... If you ever get to cast a Cryptic Command in this matchup, it's, you know, you're gonna win almost always, but it's also kind of hard to cast. I'd rather be a bit less ambitious, I guess. Like, pathing their dudes is not great, but it's... I mostly keep it in to path my own cards. Path my walls, path my snap. And then, I mean, they still have tracker and stuff. How does Moto feel after playing a lot of Arena? I was definitely trying to, it's not like a joke, as people make these jokes. I was definitely trying to slide some cards in at first and it, it, Moto feels just fine. I'm just really liking, uh, I'm just, man, this is tough. One, two, I could veto that. I should, right? Yeah, I should. Cause then my spell pierce still is relevant. If I, if I, yeah. Hey show, dude, every time every time I think about Moto now I think about MS Paint. I don't even think it looks like MS Paint, but I don't know, for some reason it's stuck. You just have a bad influence on me. Stone Rain. No thanks. What'd you end up playing in the, in the PTQ? All right, I'll let them have it. I'll let them have it this time. I definitely want a verdict next turn. They have one card in hand, five mana in a... Snap, Spell Pierce, get Basic Planes, Verdict, and this way I have Purge for another block. Or, but if I Field of Rune, they get an extra clue. Would I rather keep my snap or my purge? Probably my purge. That's a nice insurance. Feels good. Bounce the clue, value. I guess snap lets me go snap purge. Oh, they're playing Karn in their deck. Oh, that's kind of... Does that stop the fairy too? And they go for coding. Wow. Can I still? My creatures can still attack, right? If they have the combo. All Hopefully they don't have the Immortal Sun in their sideboard. That I work on lose super. Yeah, I can't see. 
Is it even good for them to get that if they don't have Karn? I mean, they still have coding, I guess. So it's still something. Looks pretty sweet. All right, I'd, I'd like to have my lands back. Wait, why can't I tap it? Oh, right, never mind. That does nothing on its own. That's right. Restoration. How is Restoration Angel the best card, the best sideboard card in every matchup? Why don't I play it main deck? Because people can. Oh, I can bounce the land with Teferi. That's pretty sick. Dude, this is kind of confusing. One, two, whatever, five. I'm playing on Simeon Spirit Guide like a fish. Can I actually do that? Can I to Fairy Bounce their forest? Can I show what he played at him and read his answer. You played Grill O2. Yeah, I was talking about Grill earlier. I was saying it has no good matchups. I was wondering why people. Should I to Fairy? I'm gonna to Fairy play. What's going on here? Can I not cast a fairy? Why is it making me tap? Does that work for me too? Players may spend mana as they were. Oh, okay. I did not realize that. Damn, it is going to start loading up the fairy. It also lets me play out stat instant speed. Not sure why that would be relevant, but you never know. Mine is a lattice in case of another Karn. I mean, I just killed the... Eh, you might be right. You might have a valid... Well, hopefully they can't get rid of though. Or they can tutor... Yeah, that was, that was pretty loose, wasn't it? All right, well. That sucks. I might have lost anyways. I mean, it buys me a bit of time, but. Oh, you get to shoot up. You get to destroy lands once you have both in play. Yeah, yeah, all right. Well, I think I might have one if I hadn't messed up. I had Snapcast from Age on top, two from the top. So if I bounce, mm, I don't know. I, I might still lose. It's close. My Karn was pretty busted. I can see why everyone uh, plays Karn in every deck. I didn't pl I guess I'd played against Coin before, but they hadn't really had time. Let's see. Why are the dragons with Kasmina? It's just ramp. Kasmina's just there to ramp you and draw you a card of Sarkhan once in a while. I do like Yagma's Vile Offering. I think that card's pretty strong. Ooh, another coin deck. Hey, Casa Camel. Thanks for the cheer, bud. 
you were catching the very last match. We just we were free and no, we just lost to uh Ponza. Ponza is finally good, I guess. It only took uh It only took Karn to make it good. It's probably still bad. Seems like one of the better Karn decks. You slowed him down a bit, you have fast mana. The deck was on. Oh yeah, we played that once. It was the Mad Auntie uh, appreciation stream. I think we even won a match or two. We at least won games. Maptron Power Plant. Yikes. Um, so I could bounce map. But that doesn't really do a ton for me. I think I should probably just not let them have Tron, but just find a count. Relic. Should have believed in the heart of the cards. Should have kept surgical. Could field of rune first. Give me a better chance of finding surgical again. Or I could Narset. In case I found a I don't know. I'm gonna make the lazy play here. The lazy slash. Come on, luck. Let's go, incredible. Damn it. All right, we get to go again. Yay! All right, now we just win. We have to worry about. Gotta be like in the heart of the cards. I should just start playing like that. I should like ignore percentages, ignore everything. Just go with my gut. All right, they do have Karn in hand, so we need to be a bit careful, but then we're just gonna Teferi minus. Do you have a ballista, a few warm cold too. I mean, not, it doesn't matter, right? I'm gonna double check. All right, I got them all. Can I never dab again? I find you very, very negative, large Brandon, in general. Very, like, I'm not sure what the word is. Maybe a bit too cynical. Ooh, Chromatic Star against Narset. No, no. The Shame Scoop. Wow. They're just done. That hurts? Well, when you tell me I should never dab again, it also hurts. So... Maybe I'll keep in Fibbleta just to attack Karn. Get All right, I have too many cards. The Fairy Time Raveler seems pretty bad. And I don't think I need four path to exile. All right, let's go. Didn't I tell you to never say cuck again? Yeah, but cuck is a terrible word. It's different show. Even though the way you use it is like probably fine. I don't know, you just... Oh 
this hand's freaking awful, but I'm not going to go down to uh, five cards. That's going to have to hope they don't have natural Tron. I didn't even realize all my lands come into play tab too. Oh. <laughs> hey horse, I know, right? Oh, it looks like open and doesn't have the greatest draw either. Is my dabbing really that bad? I feel like it's pretty good. Maybe it just looks bad on stream. It's like the angle of the camera that's not full up. People are just, people are just haters, you know? I see them hating, patrolling. They're trying to catch me dabbing dirty. Dude, that card is so... Oh. Snappy boy. We get something terrible like a spyglass. Nice. Nice a lot. Nice spyglass. I mean, it's good look at my hand, though. That's kind of... Oh, I messed up. Oh, I was going to do it on the turn, but I forgot I had the mana left. Oh, I actually wanted to search it. Oh, man. Man. Now it's kind of too late. I was going to Surgical, and then you get to see their hand, and you get to Surgical the card they have. Damn it. I think it's still worth it, even though it's kind of shameful now. Alright, I actually have three Karn in hand, and two Karn. Alright, I wish I'd held it, but I wouldn't know. Okay, two Karn, and mine, and two Karn again. Now how did they sideboard? Free frag tusks. They left in an oblivion stone. They left in a new game. They don't have the thought. Should I even do that? I guess I should keep it in my graveyard for Logic Knots. I might be okay this game. I haven't done the math yet, but I think I'm actually going to be okay. The Surgical. It's until your next turn. Oh, that's good. Could pass it, and then I'll have not enough mana to counter, anyways. I'm literally gonna lose because I didn't surgical chromatic star in response. That's also, I think, the one I would have surgical first. Maybe sphere. I don't know. Oh, definitely. And these spell pierce, that's even the spell pierce I kept on top was opt. Jeez, how bad have these spell pierce been? Uh, opponents are owning me too, they're all playing around it somehow. Any spell pierce not the best card. 
Oh, never mind. Not sure how. Do I have a Karn left in hand too? I mean, I could have countered and bounced to Ugin. Why did it didn't block? Kind of great creator is straight up better than the seven, right? Mm -hmm. It's cheaper and better. <laughs> They didn't use the uh, coin on Spyglass because they were aware of another path. Yeah, that's fair. Seems like that was the shared though. So I'm going to return my Snapcaster Mage. And I can Surgical uh, Karn Liberated in their draw step. They have 12 mana and two cards in hand. I think one of them. So I could snap Karn. Not only do I get rid of their Karn in hand, but I they have two less good top decks in their deck. Or I could keep up Dove and Veto, and then Veto that, and then Veto Snap Veto if I draw a land. I can't remember their exact deck though. I can't remember. I mean, they've got to be running out of frets. I think they do have like one Ulamog left though. I think I'm just gonna say go and just Veto the Karn, rather than uh. It's it's close. I think. It's... Like my line is a bit better if they top deck the Sprag Tusk. It's a bit better if they top. Now I wish I'd played the other way around on this draw land. Fucking colonnade. Real. Colonnade's so freaking bad. Maybe I'll try playing blue white with no colonnades next time. You don't even need it anymore. Wow. That's kind of an... Mutavault? Ah, you need to call her mana. The mana's not that good. Or that run over it. Probably like base. Um, I don't know, mix of everything. I, I guess you could play four Glacial Fortune. I would probably go up to four Glacial Fortress and. Because you need the actual dual lands, because you have like triple blue spells and double white spells, so. It is good to have, you can't just start cheating and add more basics and stuff, and, but yeah. No, obviously Colonnade is good sometimes. It's like probably one of the biggest 
like not keeping track of when Colonnade wins you games and loses you games. It's so easy to do and I've never done it and I'm sure like almost I'll play Stony. If they minus Ugin free instead of just bolt click, uh, I'm in, you know. Alright, I need Dakley. Okay, I need detention here into something. Alright, well. If I had played differently, it would have been better this game. I don't Why did I not bring in Lyra? I usually bring in Lyra in this matchup. The new basic fetch hand for blue white. Um, I think it's unclear if it's better than polluted delta. The, the value of being able to get basic island or basic planes as opposed to like basic islands or hallowed fountain is, I don't know, it's a toss up. Depends how Blood Moon, I, I mean, I guess if Blood Moon is popular, that's, you know, in favor of the new fish land, but they're not going to play more than. The new thing is bad in the mirror match for running out of basics. That's definitely a uh, concern. But you wouldn't play, you don't need that many fetch hands. You would play like, you know, four flooded strand and then maybe one, maybe two if you have some weird mana base. That would be a good replacement for Celestial Colonnade. But even then, it's kind of sketch. All right, Stony Silence, let's go. Close. All the angels. My draw's kind of gas. Wait, they, the lead was basic force, I just realized. <laughs> He's confused. He gave me the LOL in chat. He does not approve. Why did I bought on a land fetch? Oh, no, I want to keep a reactive card like uh, Detention Sphere that makes me tap out on my turn. My, I, I already have what I need anyways. I want to like... Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what I want, but that was not it. What's Fibble Flip for? Well, when I have... Uh, a blue mana and a colorless up, I can cast it and I get to draw a card and have a 1-1 one, one into play. And then I can use that 1-1 one, one to attack or block as, uh, as per the rule of magic uh, allow me to do. All right, that does nothing, right? Sorry, you were you were the unfortunate. Uh, you were about the fiftieth person to ask about fiddle tip, so it, it just fell on you. I'm just way way too proud of myself right now. I shouldn't be. Uh, I'm just like.
That coin card is not that impressive after all. Look at if this was Wall of Omens, I wouldn't be able to kill Karn. I don't like Karn. I'll let it resolve. They usually don't have the patience to just, or can't afford to just not sack it. Actually, I should have just played Snapcaster and have a two turn clock. I blew it. I really. I guess they could have a frag task next turn. Oh, I got there. God damn. It's true, I can't bounce Fibble Zip with Crick Dick. It's strictly worse than Wild Jeez. Archmist Charm for Blue Light. I think it's. Sorry to whoever was watching since the beginning. I'm going to repeat myself for that thing. Now, basically, I think that the new blue charm is probably not great if you can't cast it consistently on turn three. But who knows? I wouldn't hate finding a field of ruins just so they can't Ulamog my face. I'd probably still easily beat an Ulamog, but... Yeah, I guess they're still dead on board or whatever, you yeah. know. Yeah, shockingly the turn one forest uh, draw did not get there for our opponent. Did they mulligan this game? Well, Narset was pretty gross. The fairy was gross in the mirror and kind of whatever in other matchups. I just had it all. Yeah, that's what GG's. No, he said GG. He said just had it all. Well, it's, it's really easy to have it all when Tron leaves with turn one forest. They don't put a ton of pressure. Yeah, I mean, the, the guy who won the open was playing four in our set in his main deck. I'm not sure I'd go that far, but maybe, honestly.